Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 31 and in this tutorial I'm going to speak to you guys a little bit more about form validation so in the previous tutorial we started looking at form validation and I showed you guys how to check if there was any information filled into a text box or a password field now in this tutorial what I want to show you guys is how to check if a radio button has been checked or not checked so first of all we're gonna have to add some radio buttons into our browser so we'd only use a radio button if the user required like a yes or no answer like we're gonna give them a question and we only want a specific answer back we don't want them to make up a whole bunch of stuff so let's say I ask the user do you want to auto renew your membership onto this website okay then that is a yes or no question I only want them to tell me yes or no so let's go ahead and just add in that question over here so we'll say do you want to auto renew your membership okay and now we need to give them the option of either checking yes or no so we're gonna add in an input element and we're gonna put it of type is equal to radio and then we're gonna give it a name of auto renew and then we're gonna give it a value and I'm gonna just set this value equal to yes and then I'm also going to give it an ID of auto renew now I'll explain auto renew yes okay I'm gonna explain what all of uh, these attributes do in a second but let's just go ahead and um, I might as well just duplicate that and the bottom here I'm gonna change this auto renew ID to no and I'm also going to change this value to no and we might as well just put in a label over here so this one is yes and this one is no sorry guys I'm actually just tidying up because I didn't make this appear very tidy so I'll just put in some break tags there as well and now when we save this and run this in Firefox we get this form over here do you want to auto renew your membership and then you have the option of either uh, checking yes or no so when you check it you're gonna land up having that dot in the middle uh, but we can't uncheck it now so okay one of them is always gonna be checked after we click there so as you can see there are quite a few attributes that we used here on this input element now the first one is obviously to tell HTML that this is a radio button we want it to be rendered as a radio button which is obviously these little circle things okay then I gave it a name of auto renew and this name actually serves two purposes so the first purpose that this name uh, serves is basically just to put these two radio buttons in a group because whenever you group radio buttons by giving them the same name then only one of them can be selected so the user can only check yes or no as soon as we click on one the other one becomes unselected so that's one purpose of why we have this name here then the second one is basically for the same reasons we have a name for our input elements as well is when we click submit and this form goes through okay you'll notice at the end of the URL we've got the name here and then we've also got our value what it's set equal to okay so because we clicked the no input element we landed up having no sent through as the value okay so that's actually what this value does here as well so we send through the name and then we also send through the value that appears here so if the yes 
radio button was checked then we'd send through the value of yes so we can go back there and actually click yes and when we click submit now we've actually sent yes instead of no but with this still with the same name auto renew then lastly we have the ID attribute which you guys all know what that means or what we use that for it's just so that we can obviously work with this element in JavaScript we've got a way to identify this element okay so now what we want to do is we actually want to create a function that's going to be able to check if one of these two check boxes or radio buttons has been checked so what we need to do is start off our function so I'm gonna call my function is checked and I'm gonna call it when this form is submitted so we'll go ahead and just type in the name here is checked okay so we're gonna return the value from this function and now I need to go ahead and create this function up here so function is checked I should probably should have just copy pasted it but okay I think it's right cool okay so what I do is I double click on uh, the word and then it highlights both of them uh, like green and then I know that they're both spelled the same so in this function I want to declare two variables okay so let's go ahead and just type in the word var it would help if I didn't hit caps lock Okay, var and the first variable I'm going to call yes checked and I'm going to set this equal to document well you can hear it is storming outside uh, document dot get element by ID and uh, obviously I want to grab it by this ID here so auto renew yes and then I want to create another variable which is going to be exactly the same except I'm going to call this no checked and I'm going to set it equal to this element over there instead auto renew no so I don't need this entire input element over here to be my variable. All I want to know is if this element of year or this element of year has been checked or not checked. And the way I can do that is I can use a property called checked and I can append it onto this uh, el document dot get element by ID uh, statement. So I'll go ahead and append on checked and now I'm only accessing this checked property over here so let's go ahead and put it in on the bottom one as well now what this means is that if this input element of yes has been checked then this variable yes checked will be equal to true and if it wasn't checked then this variable yes checked is going to be equal to false so let's go back to our browser here and right now you can see that no is checked which means no is now true and the variable yes checked is now false but if I go ahead and I check this then yes checked will be equal to true and no checked these are variables over here will be equal to false okay unfortunately that's all I have time for in this tutorial but please join me in the next tutorial and we'll carry on working on this and we'll finish it up and start on a new project. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.